Hey guys, Mohan Pobera here and today I'm going to show you how to get the government to pay for your dream. Let's get to it. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses. Um, it's basically me sharing my journey, sharing my journey, documenting my journey. And it's, uh, I hope it's a win-win for everyone. I help you. I get better deal for like that. My goal is to buy as many businesses as I can and I hope to help you at the same time. So definitely let me know what kind of content you want me to talk about. So let me ask you a question. Did you know that you can basically go to the government and take a loan to literally buy your dream business? A business that you can find someone to operate the day-to-day -day for you so you can go and pretty much do whatever you want. Deal with your hobbies, travel, or just buy more businesses with those loans. So. Many people don't even know it's possible that you can go use the government money to buy the ideal business for you. And today I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit. And if you're new to the channel, you know, um, just check my other videos. But basically, this channel is all about how you can go and buy businesses. And so obviously, I'm talking at this stage that you probably went out there, talked to business owners, started to get financials and started negotiation on deals. And this is now the point where you try to think how to finance that acquisition. Now, those businesses are usually businesses that already exist in for a while and can literally bring you income from day one. Um, so again, if you're new to the channel, I think this is a much better way than starting a business, which is much more risky. And there are just so many startups that out there that just fail very fast. Um, so this is about buying existing businesses that will bring you income from day one. Now, if you're from the US, the best type of loans that you can take are those that backed by the Small Business Administration or basically the SBA loans. Um, so definitely that's something that you want to start with and basically use the government to take those loans. Those are usually debt type loans. Now those loans usually have first claim on the assets and cash flow of the business if something ever happens to the business. When you talk to banks, you want to ask how big of a loan you can take and what kind of terms. That's the first question you want to start with. Now, your loan many times should cover most, if not all, of the acquisition cost for you. If that loan won't be enough, then you'll need to find other sources of financing where I talk about some of my in some of my other videos. So definitely check that out. Now, if you're from the US, there are thousands of banks out there that are involved and, and can help you with SBA loan. So just put yourself out there, start to talk to banks and figure out if your deal is qualified for an SBA loan. With SBA loans, you can loan up to five million dollars and usually you can cover literally 80 percent of the deal just from that loan and just to compare conventional banks will many times just loan you up to 40 or 50 percent and the reason for that is just that three quarters of the loan is guaranteed by the sba that's why you can get much better terms this loan is usually long usually up to 10 years now, if your deal is not qualified for SBA loans, you can still go and find other type of loans and just talk to other financial institutions if it's asset-based lenders or cash flow lenders or all the other different type of loans you can take. All depends, obviously, on your deal. The problem with other loans is that the costs are going to be usually much higher. Now, another thing you want to consider with this loan is that many times you'll need to sign personal guarantees and many times even put some collateral on those loans. Now, what to do if you're not a U.S. citizen? Uh, just what you can do is go and find someone with a good credit because you usually need a good credit to take this type of loan and bring him to your deal and negotiate whatever terms you can uh, do with him. I suggest you to either give him a small percentage of equity or just negotiate whatever an income in the business or something like that for the help of, of taking the loan on his name. So that's definitely something you can do if you're not a U.S. citizen. So it's open to anyone, basically, if you can find the right partner. So yeah, that's all for today. Very short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I just noticed I'm with my headphones, my, my new um, AirPods from, from uh, Apple. Um, I literally, I didn't even notice it, but uh, yeah, you, you, you won't see them in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you didn't like yet, like the video and see in the description below. Join the uh, Facebook mastermind that I created. It's free to join. Just see the link below. And as, as you see, I started to post daily. So Help me below. There's a survey where you can put your personal questions and I'll create more videos based on the questions you have. So see everything in the description below and yeah, get in touch and I'll see you soon.